King's game is basically high stakes, Simon says. Everyone in the same class gets messages from an individual called the King, ordering them to do stuff. Those who disobey receive a punishment, which most of the time means death. After reading this synopsis, I thought to myself, Ooh, a survival game involving phones! How pleasantly familiar! Nabuaki has gotten caught up in this game before, and now he's in a new school and it started up all over again for him. It had a promising start, a rather hype opening, a cute girl who turns out to be a sociopath, the mystery of who exactly this king fellow is, and then episode 2 ended. And moving forward, I ran into some things that almost made me want to drop this series. Nabuaki's flashbacks were good for development, but it tried to be a surprising horror then too, which doesn't really work. They even gave heads up which would die. Also, the king is a pervert. The first command we see is person A and B must kiss. Simple enough. Sometime later, the order was given for a different guy to touch a certain girl's chest. And eventually... Person A must have sex with person B. If that last one was used once, I could just say, Wow, King is a horrible person, and just continue the story. I saw three different iterations of that order, leading me to believe that the writer has a fetish for unwilling couples, and I carried that disturbed feeling with me through the next two-thirds of the series. With this in mind, I'm sure you can imagine how awkward it is for me to say this series is actually pretty good. In the latter two-thirds, deaths turned more unexpected, a couple people lost their minds, there were cute yandere moments, there was abundant moral choices and emotional moments, and it constantly asked what sort of monster would you become to survive. I was immersed, even through that rough patch. So much of it felt familiar, too. There were little specks of future diary throughout, several deaths mimicked Elf and Line, and it uses the school date's ending to make a marvelous amalgamation of its ancestors, and all while adding something of its own. Now, if you were paying attention, I mentioned it did the school day's ending, and yes, this is my excuse of the week to talk about school day. Shut up. King's Game may have not done the exact same thing, but we got the basic formula. They contrived a love triangle at the last second, two die, one kept the body. I don't think I can watch this five times like I did Future Diary, but it made me happy to see the effort to recreate the feeling of that famous ending.